Hello friends, I am Aruj Bukhari and today we are going to explore what is an IB education. So first of all, we are going to see who and what is the IBO. IBO stands for International Baccalaureate Organization. It is a non-profit education foundation with its headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland. The focus is on developing international mindedness and a positive attitude towards learning. Most international schools offer one or more of the IBO programs. The IBO keep a close watch on their programs and school have to go through a strict authorization process that takes a few years before they are authorized to offer one of the IB program or advertise themselves as an IB world school. The aim of the IBO is to promote education for better world. So there are four programs being offered by IBO. The first one is PYP that is primary year program which is being offered for the student aged 3 to 12 years. The second program is MYP that is middle year program and which is being offered for the student aged 11 to 16 years. The third is Diploma program that is called DP which is being offered for the students aged 16 to 19 years. And the fourth one is CP that is career related program and, it's, uh, and it is being offered for the students aged 16 to 19 years. In today's video, we are going to see the IB PYP program at a glance. The IB PYP is a leading curriculum framework for international primary education, designed for the school with the student aged 3 to 12 years. The PYP focuses on the development of the whole child as an inquirer, both in the classroom and in the world outside. The PYP curriculum framework. There are five essential element, elements that students need to lead successful lives underpin the PYP's curriculum framework. Schools work with the five elements to construct a rigorous and challenging primary education curriculum that is transdisciplinary, engaging, relevant, and significant. These elements are knowledge, concept, skill, attitude, and action. So here are the 10 reasons why and how the IB PYP program is ideal for the students to become active lifelong learners. It encourages students to inquire. It develops understanding of a complex and interdependent world. PYP students are confident communicators promotes learning how to learn. It encourages international mindedness. It enables students to see things from the different perspectives. It makes students to take actions. It helps developing thinking about issues. It involves the whole school learning community and it makes students caring and responsible citizens. There are six subject areas or disciplines identified within the primary year program that is language, mathematics, 
साइंस सोशल स्टडीज आर्ट्स एंड पर्सनल सोशल एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन देर आर सिक्स ट्रांस डिसिप्लिनरी थीम्स द फर्स्ट वन इज हु वी आर द सेकेंड वन इज वेयर वी आर इन प्लेस एंड टाइम द थर्ड वन इज हाउ वी एक्सप्रेस आर सेल्फ द फोर्थ वन इज हाउ द वर्ल्ड वर्क द फिफ्थ वन इज हाउ वी ऑर्गेनाइज आर सेल्फ एंड द सिक्स वन इज शेयरिंग द प्लान If we talk about the IB learner profile the IB learner profile describes a broad range of human capacities and responsibilities that go beyond the academic success the profile aims to develop learner who have these 10 attributes the first one is inquirer that is we ask questions second is knowledgeable that is we know lot of things The third one is thinker that means i consider things the fourth one is communicator that is we share our ideas the fifth one is principled that is we do the right things next is open minded that is we respect others then comes caring which means we are kind friends The eighth one is risk taker that is we try new things. Then it comes balanced that is we look after ourselves and others. And the last one is reflective which means we find ways to be better. The IB PYP atti- attitudes are appreciation that is we celebrate the good in everyone and everything enthusiasm that is i enjoy learning and try my best cooperation i can work together with others creativity that is being creative and imaginative in their thinking and in their approach to the problems and dilemmas confident that is i feel good about myself as a learner commitment that is to finish what you begin then comes curiosity that is i ask questions about the world around me then come independence i can think and do things for myself then comes integrity that is i am honest with myself and others then comes tolerance that is we are sensitive to others differences and care about their needs then come respect that is we value and care for other people and the world and uh, the world and ourselves then comes empathy that is walk in someone else shoes here are the eight key concepts of the pyp the concepts are nothing more than the big ideas the curriculum framework has been structured around the these big ideas the pyp structured around eight key concepts let's begin with the form form means what is it like then come causation why it is like it is then comes connection what is the link to the other things then comes function how does it work then comes change how it is changing then comes reflection how do we know then comes perspective what are the points of view and then comes the responsibility that is what is our responsibility Here are few approaches to the teaching. Here are few inquiry based teaching strategies. The teaching is based on inquiry. It focused on conceptual understanding. It is developed in local and global context. The teaching is focused on effective teamwork and collaboration. 
it is differentiated to meet the needs of all the learners and the teaching is informed by the formative and summative assessments here are few approaches to the learning it includes the social skills the research skills thinking skills communication skills and self management skills One very important concept in IB education is agency. Agency is based on voice, choice and ownership of learners. Agency is basically when our students have ownership of their own learning and action that comes from the learning. Job of the teachers and parents is to facilitate opportunities with their learning Uh, that enable more active participation for the kids student demonstrate agency when they influence and direct their own learning when they make choices when they raise voice and opinions when they ask questions and express wonderings when they communicate understandings and construct new meanings as well as when they participate in the con- uh, participate in and contribute to the learning community i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you